Today we're going to go into more detail about something we've talked about a little bit in the past and that is using our multimeter to check for a parasitic load or even just to take a reading of what a certain device is pulling. And one of the key parts of that to make sure we protect our meter is using a inline fuse holder first. The reason it's important to use the fuse holder is our multimeter is only equipped with a 10 amp fuse and if you exceed that 10 amps you could either damage the meter or it's going to blow the internal fuse in it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure we have our load on which on this display board is just a simple light. What we can do is disconnect our main ground and usually we tell people to use the ground because it's much easier to get all the connections. So we're disconnecting this. We're just going to simply put our fuse holder in line. So now all that current has to flow through this 10 amp fuse. It did not blow so we know we're safe to put our meter in line. So to do this we got to make sure our meter is properly set up. We're going to change our red lead from the voltage port to the 10 amp fuse port. And we're going to set our dial over to the 10 amp scale. So we're going to set our meter leads here in parallel to our fuse holder. And the reason we're doing this is we don't want to make and break this connection while the meter's on. If you had a large device or a large load on on the vehicle, when you first connect that battery, you get a large inrush that may possibly damage your fuse. So right now you see we have a little over a tenth of an amp. I disconnect my fuse holder. And now all the current has to go through it and our load went up to about half an amp. This doesn't seem like a very important test, but this is something that technicians will run across all the time. They have that truck that every Monday it's got dead batteries. By doing this test, we can very easily see, you know, if this was a truck, says, hey, we have a little over half an amp load. What is that load? And we can now go through and isolate it and find out you know, exactly what the load is and fix the truck. Yeah.